I've come to the University of Manchester, where Dr. Sarah Haig is studying the magic material inside every pencil. Wow, what is this place? <laughs> Welcome to one of our scanning electron microscopy labs. We're using Sarah's electron microscope to take an extremely close look at a pencil lead to understand how it works. That is absolutely mind-blowing. It kind of looks like a mountain range. Should we zoom in so we can see the graphite? Definitely. <gasps> look at that. It's absolutely incredible. It looks like shards of glass. So at this resolution, we can see the individual pieces of graphite. So these individual shards are what break off and slide onto the paper, creating the pencil mark? Yes. Next, we analyse how this graphite sticks to paper. So what we're looking at on the screen now is a pencil trace across a piece of paper. The roughness of the paper has almost captured some of the graphite. Yep, so the pieces of graphite will be transferred onto the paper. If we zoom in now, we can see the individual pieces of graphite. Oh, my goodness me. That's absolutely amazing. But making marks on paper is only one of graphite's special powers. So we're going to make the electricity pass between these two graphite rods. So those are two tiny sticks of graphite. Yeah, there's what you get inside a pencil. And now and you're passing electricity through them. That's right. And then we bring them close together. Wow, that's so bright. So the current that we're seeing is like lightning. The graphite that we use here, because it's a fantastic electrical conductivity, is used in all kinds of applications like batteries. If you have a smartphone, a laptop or a hybrid car, its lithium-ion battery probably relies on graphite. That's absolutely amazing. That's just the same graphite as you would find inside a pencil. Yeah, absolutely. And that's not all. This is just an ordinary pencil, and we've sharpened it at both ends. You can see that it's heating up because the pencil wood has a much lower temperature that it will survive than the graphite. That was amazing. The wood completely gone, incinerated, and yet the graphite's intact. The graphite can withstand a huge amount of heat. Graphite is heat resistant to over 3,000 degrees Celsius, which is why it's used to contain the molten metal in steel mills. 